Okay. Now let's try out another one. This is a block. Mass is m. This surface is not frictionless. It is mu. And uh, there is a force which is applied at some inclination to this block theta. We don't know when that force is, but the sum force is applied at an angle theta to this block. So, you have been asked what is the work done by that force, by the agent applying that force when the block displays, is displaced very slowly by a distance d. So, find the work done by the agent which is applying this force when the block moves by a distance d very slowly. It is not gaining any kinetic energy. So, please solve it. So, I consider that you have solved it. But the first thing to do is look because we have studied only one formula of work and we somehow we have to apply that. Work is simply force vector dot displacement vector. So, we do not know the force vector. We do not know what the force is. So, simply you have to find the force first. So, considering that the force applied is F, now all you have to do is write the equation for equilibrium. Since it is not gaining any kinetic energy, so the force should be balanced. Now, balancing the force in vertical sign, if, if, if you draw the FBD on this block, Mg is acting downward, normal reaction is acting upward and f sin theta will also be upward ok. So, vertically balancing the force you have f sin theta plus normal reaction will be equal to mg. If you horizontally balance the force then horizontally in the right hand direction you have f cos theta in left hand direction you have friction force like this and right hand side we have f cos theta. Now, these should be equal only then it will gain uh, no kinetic energy. Now, friction force is mu times normal reaction. Normal reaction from here we get mg minus f sin theta. So, from here we can easily get what f is. So, we can write f as mu times mg upon cos theta plus mu times sin theta. Fine. So, you have found F. Now, it is a cakewalk from here. The work done would be F dot ds. F dot ds is F into displacement into cos theta. So, work simply would be, if I, if, if I can do it here itself, work done would be F into d into cos theta. That's it. Okay. Now I'm giving a graph. Graph between force and displacement. Suppose the graph is something like this. One, two, three, four, five. This is ten, and this one. is 20. Okay? They are uh, in SI units and the question is find the work done during the course of the journey of body from origin to the displacement of 5 units. So, you should be able to solve it orally unless I give you this. Consider it to be this to be minus 10. So, I mean you do not you don't use your pen and paper for this. Solve it orally. What should be the work done from origin to the displacement of 5 units? 
pause the video get your answer and then listen further solving it would be easy because there's only one formula that we have studied in this topic so the work is simply force into displacement that should be very very easy for you force for this force applied is zero and there's some displacement so work is not done by the agent which is applying this force and we are finding out the work done by this agent so we don't know how the displacement occurred because force is zero somehow some other agent might have caused it caused the displacement or maybe it had some velocity before the origin and due to that velocity it had the displacement whatever the reason be the work done by the agent which is applying this force is zero so work from zero unit to first unit is zero work from first unit to two unit is force into displacement force is keeping constant 10 into displacement is of one unit so force work done from here to here is 10 in this case force is changing continuously and so is displacement so using work is force into displacement would be not so easy in this one so uh, I don't know how you did it you did it or not but it may be a problem uh, for me to actually solve this because unless I go for integration this is not so easy because force is changing all the time uh, how can you use the formula work is force into displacement you cannot but what instead of using integration what we can do is we can actually find the area under the curve area but uh, under the curve meaning the area under the curve of force versus displacement graph gives us work done now i'll tell you how after once we solve this i'll i'll give you the explanation why the area under the curve why this area whatever this area e is that will be equal to work done we'll have a discussion on this but for time being let us consider whatever i'm saying is true and on that assumption let's solve this area of this curve is simple area of the curve would be 5 so work done in this region is 5 work done in this region is minus 10 work done in this region is 20 the total work done would be 25 now it's very important for us to discuss this why the area under this triangle will be equal to work done 